Today I want to talk about lazy queries in Lucy. First of all, we talk about regular queries. A regular query is a query that when after it's executed, it loads all the data in a two-dimensional structure, what we call normally a, a query or a result set or whatever. And problem here is that Lucy has to load all the data into that structure before it gets used. So in that case, with the dump, you have to wait until the query tag is done filling up this information. Here the example, we have here a simple ASCAL statement that returns a result set with 200,000 records. We output the cell count and then we we output the first 10 rows. We, we make a break when we add a row 10. Then we execute that. You see, we get the result as expected. We have 200,000 cells and we have uh, the output from the first 10 cells. So far, so good. So now to the lazy queries. A lazy query in contrast does not create a two-dimensional structure to store all the data before the, when the query tag is done. It keeps a point to the database and when you, for example, loop uh, through a query it loads the data on demand so you don't have to wait before it has loaded all the data and there's a benefit when you only load the first 10 rows or the first x rows it will only load this rows and not the rest so you don't have to wait it until it's done with everything here the example we have the only difference is that we define lazy equal true so that lucy knows it has to do a lazy query as maybe you saw that i have removed that column count and record count, that is no longer possible because, uh, because it does not read all the data. It doesn't know how many records there are. So you, when you loop, you can count them and you know at the end, but you know, don't know in the beginning because it starts with a pointer to the result set at the beginning and it doesn't know. When we execute that, you see we get the same result, first 10 rows. So there is not really a difference to the regular query. There's just a, some limitation, like you don't get record count information and so on. And you can't use cached within with a lazy query because for cached within it has to cache the whole result set and that doesn't simply doesn't exist. So lazy only makes sense when you create a query and you just want to consume it, not store it in any way later. So where are the benefits with that? First of all, most important, it's, it's fast. You don't have to wait until Lucy has loaded all the data in that two-dimensional structure. And it's also better for the memory because you don't have to store all the, all the, all the data into the memory until you use them. You only load them into memory before you use them. Here an example that compares lazy queries with regular queries. We have here, first of all, we have a loop that has uh, loops two times, once for regular and once for lazy. Then that that type is used here with, with lazy, so it makes, sets it once to true or false, and it does that 10 times. So for every type, it loops 10 times. Then it stores the execution time, but only the fastest one. So of 10 tries, we get the fastest execution time. So we know the fast possible time for that type. Then we output the result. So we see which is fast or lazy or regular. When we execute that, you see regular queries takes 41 milliseconds and the lazy query only 27 milliseconds. So you here see the benefit of lazy queries. If they are simply faster, when you want to just do a query and consume it and most likely not consume all the data coming from the query. You are better off with a lazy query. But when you want to use to store it or are you sure you will read all data, then use regular query. I hope this video was helpful to you. Have a good one.